Hi, Bubba. How you doing, buddy? You want to help Dad work on a car? Yeah. So handsome, Bubba. So handsome. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Don't mind the AC thing going right here, but it is hot as crap in Georgia right here, so you probably see him sweating already. But um, today, we are actually going to be installing a digital uh, gauge cluster. You guys know that I already run the Raspberry Pi in the car, and it runs off the Mega Squirt and everything. We have it in like where the radio would go in that area, but my car currently doesn't have tack, it doesn't have oil pressure gauge, and it doesn't have the temp gauge working on the real cluster and stuff, so I was like, you know, at the end of the day, I really, for my driving that I do, I really want to put it up right there in the dash area, so it'll be kind of like a um, Haltech or an AEM uh, digital gauge cluster, but it'll be the Raspberry Pi. So uh, I've seen a couple people do it. Um, Philip, who we actually reviewed his car, the track uh, car, he actually did it in his car. Um, and it looks super good. Uh, he's did it a little bit different than what we're gonna do, but basically all I'm gonna do, I pulled the gas gauge, um, I have a digital oil pressure gauge now, and then we have the Raspberry Pi for all the other content that we need. So we have TAC on there. It's a pretty cool setup um, that I'll show you guys, but what we had to do, I already have done this and I'll explain it, is we took the stock gauge cluster out of the car, and then we kind of took everything out I put it in plastic bags because you know maybe later on down the road I want to put it back in the car. So and also it has the mileage on the car too. But obviously we're, I'm going to be keeping this car probably the rest of my life, so it doesn't re really affect me trying to sell it or anything like that. So uh, took the mileage out of the car, made sure it's not affected or anything like that. Or sorry, took it out of the cluster and put it in plastic bags and stuff. But you have to cut up the way that I want to do it to be able to run the gas gauge to work properly. Um, the best thinking, you know, I'm sure other people can do it and think about it. I'm not the best at wiring and stuff, but in my mind, the best way to do it is how I'm doing it and I'll show you guys. But, so, I'll show you guys what I did. I had to cut up the stock cluster to fit basically what we're going to do there and then we're going to pop it in the car. I'm really stoked to have a digital gauge cluster now and uh, it's gonna look pretty sick. So just to show you guys here, you can see that I actually took, this is all the contents. So if you've ever changed anything like on your gauge cluster before, um, with like rev limiter gauges or anything like that, you can see like this is what you'll see when you change them out. But this is basically like, you can see that my car, that's how many miles it had and everything. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of blurry. But uh, anyway, so we have the stock gauge cluster right here and you can see like it's a whole entire circuit board on the back right here. But what we did was um, there used to be a little area right here where actually like you have the check engine light and stuff. That's it was like kind of like a, a triangle. So we cut this down and it's like basically a whole entire open area in here right now. And now what I'm going to do is we had to cut this so the back of the Raspberry Pi can sit down in. And then what we're going to do now is I ordered off Amazon ABS plastic and we're going to cover this entire thing of this shape with ABS plastic so we can mount the Raspberry Pi to it and, uh, and it'll all like work how it's supposed to be. So what we got over here is a uh, thin ABS plastic sheet. It'll be perfect. It's the right size. So we're going to cut this out with a jigsaw and then um, I already have a cardboard uh, mock-up in the car already. And then, um, so I'm gonna use that to cut this out and then we'll go from there uh, to mount it and everything else. But it's gonna be sick, I think. And if, if anything, I ever wanna go back, I can just you know buy another gauge cluster off somebody and then kind of put all my stuff back in here. But we're gonna go ahead and cut this and kind of mount it in here and then we can start putting the stuff in here. So to give you guys reference here, the Raspberry Pi will sit in the middle. The gas gauge will go where it usually is. And then over on the right side, we're gonna have an oil pressure gauge. So everything will be like right there, everything that I need. The only thing that I won't actually have in the car, and it really doesn't really matter to me because uh, I can pull it up on my phone if anything. There's tons of applications, but it's the speed. Uh, we don't have a tack any, we're basically like the speedometer uh, in the car anymore. But like I said, it doesn't really affect me or I don't really care to have like the speedometer or anything like that because this is going to be, you know, the track car, it's going to go to events and stuff. And like I said, if I, if I need it, I can just pull it up on my phone. Even Waze has it too, so not a big deal. But let's go ahead and get to cutting and then 
I'll show you guys the finished uh, product after we cut the ABS plastic. He loves this stuff. Doggo ice cream. Is it good, Baba? <laughs> I think it's pretty good, isn't it? You're drooling. All right, guys, to give you a reference here, this is what I was talking about. I did a cardboard cutout here, and then you can see that the Raspberry Pi sits in there, and it sits all the way back. So this little case back here is why I got to cut this stuff out in the middle. Um, but so what I'm going to do is I'm taking this exact uh, cardboard cutout, and then I'm going to cut it out of the ABS plastic, and then so it'll sit just like this, perfectly in there, hopefully. And then we'll put the gas gauge over here and then we'll have the, uh, well, the oil pressure right here. All right, boys, here we go. It is actually the next day here, but we have the Raspberry Pi here, kind of all fitted up, not bolted down at all, but um, we have the ABS plastic in there, and the Pi has a hole that has been cut for it, for this back piece, uh, for the case to sit down in. And uh, I will go ahead and show you guys what it looks in the car, but again, the gas gauge is gonna go right here, and um, on that like where it usually goes factory and then we'll have the oil pressure gauge right here I've wired everything up in the car already so everything should just be plug and play uh, once we mount everything in the car looks pretty sick though pretty happy with how it came out by the way Kevin decided to join the uh, <coughs> big meat club here he got some 225s the really cool thing is that he went with these uh, Sparco wheels you know what they're called actually what brand are they they're not brand, they're Sparco, but they're like sparkles. What, what, what the uh, wheel's called. They're freaking they're sick though. Like, I've never seen any Miata run a Sparco wheels before, but I didn't even know that they made 4x100s for Miatas, but these things are sick. They're 15 by 9 I think plus 35, same as the Advani's. Yep. But, uh... Sparco FF1s. FF1, Sparco FF1s. So if you're interested, go check out. These are from Tire Rack. 225s. I'm running 245s on mine. RS4s are amazing. Love them. Great all around tire. But uh, these things are sick. And tire rack mounted, balanced, everything. Shipped them to your door just like this. Pretty sweet. Not bad. These are going to look so spicy on the car. Get these uh, little crispy 190, 195s out of here. These are some nice uh, Koenig wheels, but need some more meat here of what kind of driving Kev's gonna do. Sorry, this video is all over the place, but we actually have the full gauge cluster, the full digital dash in the car, all wired up, the oil pressure gauge, um, and then also the gas gauge. So the oil pressure gauge is not currently working right now because I did take the car for a test drive and um, the way that I ran the oil pressure line, uh, the turbo was so hot on there, it already melted a line. So I already did order some new line. It's already here, so we just have to reinstall that. Uh, but other than that, digital gauge cluster's in the car. So it's nighttime, and I really wanted to show you guys at night because it's super cool how it comes up. And I just love the way it looks. So let's go check this thing out because it's so sick. As I know, this is pretty bad quality right here, <laughs> but uh, you guys can actually see that it's in there. So I told you like the gas gauge is in there, the full Raspberry Pi is in the middle, um, and then we have the oil pressure gauge on the right side, and then we also do have boost, and we have AFR over here, uh, which we can also see boost and AFR on the Pi itself. But uh, you can see it's pretty nice. I got the shield on there too. Like it just it sits in there like a basically like a stock cluster, just because I used the stock cluster, but. Um, I definitely wanted to show you guys at night to see, um, like to show you how it, it looks when you turn it on and stuff because it, it, it's so much better um, at night. But uh, let me go ahead and turn the car on here and uh, I'll let you guys see. Go ahead and turn on the auxiliary mode. So when the car powers up and stuff, um, obviously the Pi turns on and stuff. But uh, it takes a little bit, just a little bit of a second for it to boot up and stuff. But it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. Um, and then also I'll be able to like change I could put actually a picture of my car on here if I wanted to so It's basically like I said like just a cheaper AEM um, or Haltac like display and stuff and um, This whole entire thing, you, you know, you could do it for 150 bucks buying the ABS plastic and if you want to do oil pressure gauge or even like just setting up the Raspberry Pi so like I said it takes just a second and then I have it immediately boot up into tuner studio here 
and then you guys can see so basically you know I, I have my uh, coolant temperature I do have RPM um, and I can change this if I wanted to and I can automatically fully tune the car at any time and then obviously my uh, tack is in the middle there so it's it's so much better I know like a lot of people might not like that I'm taking the stock cluster out of the car but I, I love this so much and it's really honestly inexpensive so super I, I'm super happy with it um, but still got the stock gas gauge over there and then we also have the oil pressure over there so the digital gauge cluster is in and it looks pretty sick I forgot I wired up my boost gauge for a light now so it's it's red to match the AFR um, but looks so good now and we have a functional boost gauge so cars come along for sure but this thing definitely adds a touch to the car and it's it's so sick. Well guys, that is going to conclude the video. I'll throw all of the uh, stuff that I used to build the Raspberry Pi, the ABS plastic, everything down in the description below. So if you guys are interested in picking up a Raspberry Pi, the ABS plastic, and building your own, um, basically you're, you can do whatever you want. It's basically do it yourself if you don't want the oil pressure gauge, yada yada. So. I'll throw everything down description box below. Um, definitely check it out if you guys are interested. Like I said, it was about 150 bucks uh, to build everything, and um, it's it's honestly like a game changer. Uh, like I said, I, I've had it in the car for basically almost two years now, I'd probably say, but it was down by the radio. Now it's up um, where I can see everything. Definitely a game changer, and uh, I, I love it. So. Definitely comment down below if you guys have any questions. Definitely give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends if you guys like it. I know it's pretty cool, like I, I think it's super cool and it's definitely a lot more inexpensive than you know running like one of the name brand guys, even though those are so sick as well. But anyway guys, I'm rambling on here. Definitely uh, to remember have a wonderful day and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, peace out guys, I'll see you in the next one. It's right.